Hi, in this video, I'll introduce you to DataStream. Then I'll walk through setting up a stream from Oracle to cloud storage. I'm Gabe Weiss, a developer advocate for Google Cloud. DataStream is a serverless change data capture, or CDC, and replication service. DataStream makes it easy to synchronize data across heterogeneous databases and applications reliably and with minimal latency. DataStream provides a simple, integrated experience to guide you through every step of the process. It's serverless, so you don't need to worry about managing or monitoring instances. And continuous data replication means you can unify data across multiple sources and applications and make it accessible in real time. It helps power a wide range of use cases, including data replication for analytics, database migrations, event-driven architectures, AI and machine learning, data lakes, and many more. Whether your source database is on-premises, self-hosted in Google Cloud, or running on another cloud, DataStream helps you quickly unlock the benefits of real-time CDC. Now let's walk through the DataStream experience. You can easily find DataStream by searching for it in the search box at the top of the Cloud Platform Console. You can also find it from the Google Cloud Console navigation under Big Data. To get started, you'll create a stream. This represents the end-to-end -end process of streaming changes from your source database to your destination. First, let's define some basic information about the stream. I want to ingest data from an Oracle database I have running on GCE to a cloud storage destination. Once I've defined my source and destination types, DataStream shows me the configuration required for successful streaming. DataStream is unique in that it reflects all of the source and destination configuration requirements directly within the creation process to take out the guesswork involved. For example, since I chose Oracle as my source, I can see the requirements for setting up the necessary logging configurations and permissions on Oracle. After confirming the necessary prerequisites, I'm ready to define my source. I can do this by creating a connection profile, a resource that represents the information needed to connect to a database. These profiles aren't locked to an individual stream. This means I can reuse profiles if I want to, and also allows me to hand off creating the source configuration to someone else in my organization who's in charge of connecting to the database. I've already created a connection profile for an Oracle database running on Google Cloud's VM, so I'll select it. Whether I create my source connection profile now or use the one I created in advance, I can test connectivity to make sure that DataStream is able to reach it. DataStream supports both public and private connectivity methods to easily and securely connect to sources, whether they're hosted, be it on Google Cloud, on-premise, or on other cloud providers. Once the connectivity test passes, I can continue to configure the stream for my source. Next, I want to select the objects that this stream should pull from my source. Using the selection UI, I can define which schemas and tables to stream from my Oracle source. I will select the entire HR schema and a couple of tables from the movie schema. For the objects I selected, I also need to bring over the historical data. So I leave the backfill historical data enabled. Now I'm ready to define the destination for my stream. Here again, I can create a new connection profile for my destination or use an existing one. I'll select a GCS bucket I have ready to go. Now DataStream allows me to specify a path within my cloud storage bucket where the stream data will be stored. For this demo, I want files to be written to the root folder of the bucket. DataStream allows me to find the right balance between file size and data freshness that's right for my use case. It's important for me to have my data available quickly, so I'll reduce the writing delay to destination to 15 seconds. This means the files written to GCS will be smaller, but the data will be available faster. Well, that was easy. I've connected and configured my stream. All that's left is to validate the end-to-end -end stream configuration and start moving data. Validation passed successfully. I can trust that my stream will run smoothly. I'll create and start the stream to run it immediately. Once my stream is created, I can monitor its progress and see if it encounters any issues. DataStream will perform the historical backfill and continuously replicate changes as they happen. I can monitor different metrics of the stream, such as throughput, latencies, and more. That's it. I've quickly and easily shown you how to continuously ingest changes from an Oracle database into cloud storage using DataStream. And since DataStream is serverless, it'll automatically scale up and down to handle my data volume and maintain minimal latency. With change data now continuously streaming into cloud storage, I can easily leverage products like Dataflow to process the data as needed. For example, I could use a purpose-built template to replicate the data into BigQuery or Cloud SQL for Postgres. 
Data Stream is the fast, easy, and reliable way to seamlessly deliver change data streams from your database to Google Cloud to support analytics, database replication, and event-driven architectures. It's serverless, high performance, and easy to use. Now, it's your turn to give it a try. You can get started from the Google Cloud console or learn more at cloud.google.com slash datastream. Thanks for watching.